हेलो 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 हाय गाइस गुड मॉर्निंग वेलकम बैक टू न्यू वीडियो इट इज वन ऑफ द हार्डेस्ट एंड इजी प्रॉब्लम एट द सेम टाइम लाइक मार्क डज हार्ड बट एक्चुअली एन इजी प्रॉब्लम लेट्स सी आई स्वीयर इट इज मच इजीर देन प्रॉब्लम 3 व्हाट आई थिंक ऑफ सो इट सेज दैट यू आर गिवन एन इंटी जीरो इंडेक्स एरे कॉल्ड एज नम्स एंड इट कंसिस्ट ऑफ पॉजिटिव इंटीजर्स दैट्स इट एंड यू कैन सी आल्सो इन द कंस्ट्रेंट्स इट्स ऑफ पॉजिटिव इंटीजर्स ओके दैट्स ग्रेट दैट्स सुपर ग्रेट अगेन Please look at the constraints very carefully because they are the prime factor in determining what will happen, what will not. Cool. No worries. Let's go on. Uh, it says that initially you can increase the value of any element in the array by at most one. This statement can be a bit confusing because you can easily see that you can increase every value or any value by one. At max one, which means here you will see you increased your two to a value three, you increase your one to a value two. So you can like you might feel like maybe I can increase only one value in the entire array, but you can increase multiple values also. That's completely fine. That's completely okay. Now after increase again, that's a optional, which means at most one. Now after that you need to select one or more elements from the final array. Final array, which means after increasing, you will choose optimally to increase some elements out of that nums by one at max, and then from the final array which you have got, you will try to choose consecutive elements which are sorted when sorted in the increasing order. Again, they are sorting the elements in the increasing order, then choosing the consecutive elements, and they want the maximum number of such consecutive elements. Indirectly saying, I want the maximum length of the consecutive elements, right? So while reading the problem and by forgetting, okay, maximum length, which means longest length, okay, that needs to be in the increasing order, which means I need the element in the increasing order, and I just want some elements from my array. So either it can be subsequence or a subset. For sure, not a subsequence because I can reorder that. So it is for sure a subset which I should take. so it is kind of replicating okay can be a dp problem because we have seen similar kind of dp problems so one thing is for sure that we will simply sort it and we will try to find the longest increasing array which i can build off consecutive one so now again i have simply sorted it down that was the first intuition which i i could get on getting it i again always i say always i say that go on to a random index i went on to my index side now i will ask him bro i want the longest increasing length at you okay what is the again what 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 does your lis say longest increasing subsequence say okay longest increasing subsequence ending at that index so i'm saying for him also i get index bro what is the longest increasing length ending at this specific index now everything has a meaning i want the longest which means i want the maximum length possible i want the increasing it is not increasing like it had increasing in the lis in lis your 1 5 9 it is a increasing subsequence but for me increasing should be consecutive increasing so for me increasing definition has changed a bit it should be increasing but it should be consecutive increasing and then okay ending at that index which means i can consider only the previous portion which i have got or i have moved on so i will not consider the later portion so by by this fact how i will try to build the answer i know okay from the existing part again if you have not watched the lis uh, problem again although it's not at all linked but we have linked it by our by our knowledge of programming because see programming is all about gathering the knowledge and then applying the knowledge same as machine learning so if you have not watched it just write on youtube longest increasing subsequence or you or you can write lis by rn mithal you will get two videos n log n or o of n square just watch o of n square video and that will be great so as to build you an intuition how these problems are solved now now we know one thing it's a db problem and then we can easily see we want to have a kind of a increasing subsequence ab If you go back and remember, in a simple LIS array, if you are at the ith index, you want to know the longest length which has been built. So you go on to all the previous indexes, all the previous indexes, and then see. Oh, can I increase? Can I, can I increment my answer? Which means you used to do dp of i. It is dp of j plus one. If your nums of i is more than equal to nums of j. Now I for sure know I have sorted this entire thing down, so it is for sure more. 
Now I could have applied this fact, but in this I am saying nums of j, it is actually anything which is less than nums five. But I am I am having a small twist. What well, the twist is that your nums of i, your nums of j should be nums of i minus one. So that is for sure fixed. So I don't have to go and try for all the possible j's. Uh -huh. You have just one j that is nums of j minus sorry nums of i minus one so if i am at i the index i will say okay the current value is let's say this element element is the value so i will go and check for element minus one as the value and get the answer so you will simply say okay right now you are ending at two so simply dp of two which means ending at value two i am saying get me the longest length ending at value one okay and I can simply add a one similar to a LIS and the same way. But you remembered the same way. But you all the although it is exactly correct, exactly correct. But you are missing one thing. What is the one thing which you are missing? The missing thing is that, bro, one thing you can also increase the value of this current element also. Of this current element also, you can increase the value. Oh, I did not consider that fact, right? Yeah, no worries. I will simply consider right now, which means I will try to increase this value. Okay, right now the value was element. I will name the value as element. So I can increase the value and say now the value is element plus one and just replicate this exact same process. So I will say now the value is element plus one plus one and same same formula. Go and look back for your element, which is the just one smaller consecutive value. And these two will help me get the answer. So these two will help me get the answer. That's it. Let's let's have a quick dry run and see again Aryan uh, what order I shall pick this up in which means are you saying that I will write dp of element and dp of which is equal to dp of element minus one plus one and then I should write dp of element plus one equal to dp of element plus one shall I write like this like in in, in this order which means first this and next this or you are saying I should write first this and next this. What is the order Aryan? Or are you saying order will not matter? Bro, order will matter. Why? Because you will see that if you, because as you know that currently you are at the ith index, which means you are at this index and you are doing both of these operations, which means you are trying for both of these operations at the same time, at the same time, at the same ith index. So you will have to make sure that they should not interfere with each other. They should only consider the previous. They should only consider the previous value which you have calculated. And you will see that your DP of element plus one is going and try to access DP of element, which if you perform this operation first, your DP of element will get modified with some new value, which is incorrect. So what I will do is I will firstly modify my DP of element plus one. And then, and then I will modify, modify my DP of element. So firstly, I'll perform this operation. Next, I will perform this operation. Let's see a dry run. So dry run is very, very simple. I took a custom array. Again, for building example, always take a custom array. Again, I will not represent the actual nums array because this is the custom array which I made considering what I need to teach you guys. So I'll take the custom array. Let's imagine the custom array. I know I have to sort it down. So I'll simply sort that custom array down. Now, when I have sorted this custom array down, I'll simply apply my formula, which I have derived above that. Okay. For the current element, just do, okay. That element, that is element right now. DP of element plus one, which is two because the element is one. So it will be DP of element plus one uh, in the by default DP of element, which means DP of one is zero. So Aryan, these are not indexes. No worries, bro. No worries, bro at all. You can simply, you, you see, you just want to keep this DP values, right? These are the values. So you can simply keep an unordered map for that values, right? Okay, no worries. So I can simply keep the unordered, unordered map. Although, are, although, although in this case, the values are very small. So you can create a fixed size array also. But I will recommend that when the values are large, please bro, make sure that you are actually using an unordered map because you won't be able to make an actual DP vector. Okay, so I will use a DP of two, it will become DP of one plus one, which means DP of element plus one, it is DP of element plus one, DP of element is DP of element minus one plus one. Both are initially zero, zero, zero. So your DP of two becomes a one, DP of one becomes a one. This is what itself represents. What this represents is okay, ending at two, I have a length of one so far. What it means, which means if I consider this as the only part, so. I see, okay, this is the only part. So ending at one, ending at value one, I have length as one. Okay, length is one. If I 
push that to a value 2 which means this value becomes a 2 still i will say that ending at value 2 so far so far so far i have so far i have just length of 1 that is it so i can represent the same thing and say that dp of my element says maximum length of consecutive sequence ending at that specific element cool now let's simply move on our dry run dp of 2 it will become my dp of element which means dp of element plus 1 will become dp of element plus 1 and dp of element will become dp of element minus 1 plus 1 so your dp your, your, your dp of element if you which means your dp of 1 was increased to 1 last time so i can use that value so it will become a 1 so your dp of 2 has become a 2 and your dp of 1 will still remain a 1 so if i just recall that back so you will see that okay by this up till this length if i increase that to 2 as you can see for ending at 2 you will have a length of 2 right okay great cool no worries let's move on which means add 2 again same exact same funda dp of element plus 1 equal to dp of element plus 1 and dp of element equal to dp of element minus 1 plus 1 your dp of 2 is actually 2 which you which you have derived so you will push put a 2 here and your dp of 1 is simply a 1 as you can see 1 here so your dp of 3 becomes a 3 your dp of 2 becomes a 2 what this represents this represents that okay ending at a value 3 I can have a length of 3. As you can see, any other value 3. I can have a length of 3. How 3? 1. And this this could have become 2 or 2. And the value is 3. Or I can say that, okay, any other value 2, I can have a length of 2. How? Simply. Ending at a value 2, I can have a value of 2, which means 1 and 2. Simple. Now, if I go on to my 5, again, next element. 5, you will, you will say dp of element plus 1 equal to your dp of element plus 1 and uh, your, your dp of element equal to your dp of element minus 1 plus 1 same way your dp of 5 is 0 so far because you have never encountered 5 so it's a 0 it will also be a 0 so your dp of 6 is a 1 your dp of 5 is also a 1 the same kind of state which we saw previously also when we were doing it for the first time same way representing okay up till this length up till so far up till so far up till so far for ending at 6 ending at 6 you can have a length of 1 which means if if you modify that to a 6 the consecutive length maximum length you can have 1 and if you don't try to update that you can have a length of 1 step which is 5 and the same way you can do it for the next value which is 7 which is this specific 7 and again the next value which is 7 which is this specific 7 same exact same way and thus i and again i want what i want what i want the maximum length so i can keep on track of this maximum number whatsoever i can get i can get that maximum number although you can keep track while doing the dp itself or maybe in the end you can just get out the maximum dp value out of all the values so that's the entire thing although you will see it's actually the one of the easiest hardest problem easiest hardest mark problem the code is very short and simple firstly i'll see a simple sort i'll use a dp unordered map rather than initializing my dp actual size although you can initialize your dp also with the size itself which is 1 e 6 because you know the values are just up to 1 e 6 if the values would have been large you would have used an unordered map for sure cool now coming on back we will go on initialize our answer because i know i will try to maximize my answer by saying okay answer maximum of either dp of element plus one or a dp of element now how i did that i'll just simply go on and say dp of element plus one is dp of element plus one or dp of element will be dp of element minus one plus one both operations which we saw above and that's how i can simply get my maximum length consecutive length increasing length and that's how you are using sorting so it's o of n log n you are using an unordered map to store all the dp values so it's o of n and that's how you can simply solve it cool thing you for watching see you goodbye take care bye bye the next video is coming soon. Bye-bye.